P2 and 44 points. And today, Hawkins tries to light up the Rockford Metro Center, where Bradley shoots for 3-0 against Northern Illinois. Live, 25 Sports brings you Bradley Basketball. This exclusive telecast is brought to you in part by Coors, the beer with the difference worth tasting. Coors is the one. By Coors Light, there's no slowing down with the silver bullet. By University Ford, where you're always a winner. By Counter, more performance, more consistency. Counter gives you more. By Methodist Medical Center of Illinois. By the Country Company's Insurance, you've got the country behind you. By ICI, makers of Eradicane and Diphonate. And by North Point Video, Audio and Appliance, Peoria and Morton. Good teams win at home, championship teams win on the road. And on this week of final exams, Bradley's first road tests come here at Rockford against Northern Illinois. Hello again, everyone. I'm Mark Strauss, along with Lee Hall, and welcome to the Rockford Metro Center. This is Bradley's first visit here, and the only time all year Northern Illinois will play here. And, Lee, I'm sure the Huskies are also glad it's the only time all year they'll play against Hersey Hawkins. <laughs> well, Mark, at 43 points a game, no coach is glad to see Hersey Hawkins come to town. About the only people glad to see him today are the NBA scouts. He's brought another handful of them here to Northern to watch him. As far as Northern Illinois goes, Hersey will present problems, but Bradley's whole style of play is a concern as well. Northern Illinois can't stay with them in the run and gun offense. If they move the ball up the floor, Bradley will have another blowout like we had last year. We'll talk more about that when we come back in just a minute with more pregame talk. The day you drive out with a new car, you start driving down the value month after month. With most auto insurance, total a car two years later, and you just get the used car value. But with Country Company's Keeper Policy, if your car is wrecked beyond repair, you get a brand new car. Same make and model, even if it costs more than you paid at first. So get the country behind you. Farmers who switch to Eradicane are getting better grass control. Isn't that right, Gary? It did an excellent job controlling our grasses. Mainly foxtail is our big grass problem, and we're very happy with Eradicane. How about you, Alan? I watched my neighbor uh, putting on Eradicane with his fertilizer through impregnation, and uh, I tried it, and it just cleaned up my grasses really well. For better grass control than dual or lasso, farmers like you are switching to Eradicane. Why not try something revolutionary for lunch? Ground beef, lettuce, cheese, and a little imagination. Introducing the new Soft Taco Supreme from Taco Bell. All your favorites, plus tomatoes and sour cream, on something better than a bun. Look, you can try something different, or become another statistic. The new Soft Taco Supreme. Hello, Taco Bell! Santa Claus is coming to town tonight at 6. On Wednesday, Hersey Hawkins scored 44 points and set a Carver Arena record against Colorado. If you're curious, the record here at the Rockford Metro Center is only 34 points. That was set by Alfred Hughes of Loyola. So we'll see if Mr. Hawkins can erase that record as well. We'll be back with the starting lineups and the tip-off in just a minute. Crystal Christmas, Tuesday at 9 on WEEK. 
Well, the Braves were mighty impressive in their first two games of the season. 111-94 over New Orleans, 94-78 against Colorado. But the road was a real problem for them last year, Lee. They won only five of 15 games on the road, and they won't be able to do that this year and contend for a Missouri Valley Conference title. Well, Mark, when you talk to the coaches, I asked them their biggest concern, and it's, it is the, the fact that it's a road game. As you mentioned, they were 0-8 on the road to start on. They really didn't win a real road game until they won down at ISU in mid-January, uh, if you don't count the Jostens tournament, when they won pretty much on a neutral court. I guess it's time now for uh, starting lineups. So let's listen to those. This is Dan Husky welcoming you to the Rockford Metro Center for this afternoon's NCAA game between the Bradley Braves and your NIU Huskies. Here are the starting lineups. First of all, for the Bradley Braves, at forward, number 40, a 6'7 senior, Trevor Trippy. At the other forward, number 32, a 6'5 senior, Greg Jones. At center, number 53, a sophomore, 6'8", Luke Jackson. At the guard position, number 12, 5'11", junior, Anthony Manuel. And at the other guard, number 33, a 6'3", senior, Percy Hawkins. Head coach for Bradley, Stan Albeck. Now the starting lineup for your NIU Huskies. At forward, a senior, number 50, 6'9", Mike Rabner. At forward, number 24, a 6'6", freshman, Brian Banks. Starting at center, number 34, 6'9", senior, John Culbertson. At one guard, number 25, 6'3", freshman, Joe Joe Jackson. And at guard, number 32, a 6'3", senior, Rodney Davis. Head coach for the Huskies, Jim Riseborough. Well, the Braves were quite successful the last time these two teams met. They beat them in Peoria badly last year, 86 to 63, a big night for Donald Powell. And there you see our three officials for the game tonight. It'll be on the left, Terry Anderson, Ed Marisich in the middle, and Phil Robinson on the right. But this Northern Illinois team, perhaps more improved under a second-year head coach. Jim Rossborough was in his first year just like Stan Albeck last year, and it takes some time to make that transition. Well, Rossborough says their defensive effort is, has been a lot better so far this season than it was last year. It's an improved team over last year, uh, but he really doubts it if uh, they can stay with BU. He's not sure. He's not sure. So far, New Orleans, which was a run-and-gun team, couldn't. And Colorado, which was a fundamental pass-the-ball type of club, couldn't. And that's probably what we'll see here from the Huskies. And this will be pretty much the same style of team as Colorado. They're not quite as big as they were physical. But uh, they're going to try and keep Bradley into a half-court game. Good luck. The Braves at 2-0, and, and Northern Illinois at 1-3. and They won their opener against Beloit 79-61, but they've lost three in a row to Wisconsin, UTEP, and Wisconsin Green Bay, and all of those were on foreign courts. Luke Jackson to tip it up against number 50, Mike Grabner, the senior from Appleton, Wisconsin, and John Colbertson, number 32, number 34, that is, comes down with it. This is Rodney Davis. To Brian Banks now up top, JoJo Jackson, number 25. They like him. He's a freshman. They'll try to get the ball inside. That's their offensive scheme. Jackson at the foul line, picked up by Hawkins. Grabner, the big man with the jump, and he hits. And at the other end, Hersey Hawkins. 
scores and is fouled. And that's one thing that we're seeing this year, Lee, that we didn't much last year. Hawkins is getting the calls instead of the opposition. Well, I think maybe the officials are looking for it a little more this year and uh, giving Hersey the respect he deserves. He know, they know that he's blowing by people, and people really don't have time to get set in front of him. He's just going too fast, and they really don't have a good defensive set, so he is getting those calls. The Hawk needing only seven points today to pass Chet Walker and move into third place on Bradley's all-time scoring list. Here's Bradley in a full-court 2-2-1 press. Grabner being hounded by Manuel. Rodney Davis, number 32, perhaps their best all-around player. Cross-court pass to JoJo Jackson for the jump of it hits. Jo -Jo so Northern with a slim one-point lead. Here's Manuel rushing it up the ball the floor in a hurry. Hawkins being guarded by Jackson. He'll have the task of shadowing the Hawk tonight. With him so far, pulls up and throws up an air ball. So Jackson's defense worked that time. Inside it goes to Culbertson for the turnaround, and he banks it in, and Northern Illinois has a 6-3 lead in the early going. But as I recall a year ago, they jumped out to a 6-0 lead on Bradley. Well, that's an area we want to keep an eye on, too, Mark. Uh, Luke Jackson had a tough night the other night against Colorado. Uh, Wilkie, the big guy for them, had a good game against him. Greg Jones pulling the Braves within a digit. Manuel guarding Rodney Davis as he comes across the timeline. Bradley, as usual, in the man-to-man, -man, helping out on the baseline. Ball squirts through the hands of Brian Banks, the freshman from Chicago De La Salle. He dribbles against Trevor Trimpe. Still in trouble. This is JoJo Jackson on the baseline. Out to Grabner. He shoots for a big man. Greg Jones picks up the loose ball, and here come the Braves. Manuel spots a man ahead of the field, but he hit Rodney Davis in the feet. And that turned it over. Northern Illinois doing a good job early on of getting back on defense and trying to keep Bradley from getting those easy layups. <laughs> Manuel all over Davis. The bounce pass inside goes right to Greg Jones, and here come the Braves. Bradley looking for their first lead. Jackson falls. Ball belongs to Northern Illinois. This is a road game for Bradley, but it may be just as much of a road game for the Huskies. They were 0-4 here at the Metro Center last year. And 0-11 on the road. And Bradley moving the ball down the floor, but it was a three on four. Northern Illinois had the advantage that time. Might be a time Anthony needs to pull it up and hold up for everybody else. Culbertson hit the basket. Let's see if they score it. It counts. And the foul on Hersey is his first. Take a look at it again. It's going to be a concern today for Bradley. Got to control the guys inside. They're a, a physical team. That's given Bradley trouble in the past. Luke sometimes does well and sometimes doesn't against the big guys. Culbertson trying to connect on the three-point play does not, and Luke Jackson collects the carom. Here comes Trimpey right back the other way, pulls and misses. One on four that time, Mark. 17-15 to play in the first half, and Northern Illinois with a three-point lead on Bradley. Into the game, Donnell Thomas, a freshman from Chicago Robeson, number 44, went to school with Greg Jones who was in the midst of the action that time and is charged with his first foul of the ball game. This Northern Illinois team has been caught up in some controversy lately surrounding number 34, John Colbertson, their senior center, who was a very consistent player for them last year, but apparently an incident stemming back to his days at Iowa State has put him in the eye of the storm. We'll talk a little more about that later. The Braves coming across the timeline, but a whistle as huh. they do. Now, we had a whistle earlier. We had a whistle before they got the rebound. The man has stepped out of bounds, and for some reason, they didn't stop play. So that doesn't take the ball away from Bradley, but it does take the fast break away from them. Jim Rospero would like to have the ball back. Stan Albeck would like to have the playback. Neither will get their wish. I honestly think there's something the matter with the referee's whistle. He blew it, and it's, <laughs> it sounded like a sick parakeet or something. It, it really didn't catch anybody's attention. 
Back underway. Bradley down by three. This is Manuel guarded by Davis. Inside the Hawkins. And tipped in. We'll see who they give it to. Basket by Jones. Greg Jones gets credit. And it's an 8-7 ball game in favor of Northern Illinois. The Braves looking for their first lead still. Davis inside to Culbertson, and he was grabbed by Jackson. Luke is the guilty man. I talked about Culbertson a moment ago. Apparently, when Northern Illinois travels to Drake to play the Bulldogs, Culbertson could be arrested for an incident that occurred in 1984 when he was going to Iowa State when he allegedly shot a gun into a car. And he thought that had all been taken care of back then. The block on Jackson, the foul on Jackson or Jones, and the Braves are racking them up in a hurry here, and Anthony Manuel calls them into a small conference and says, look, guys, we're not going to get very far if we keep it up. Greg Jones is called for the foul, his second. Culberson and Grabner are uh, an awesome pair on the inside. That time, Donnell Thomas taking the ball to the hole. A good player out of the Chicago Public League, just a freshman. The Chicago Sun-Times called him the best rebounder in the Chicago Public League. Averaged 15.7 points a game and 11 rebounds a game. And that's saying a lot because he played quite a few games against Marcus Liberty and honed the boards against Illinois. Too. He owns only one of two free throws, though, and a two-point lead for Northern Illinois. Manuel with the three-pointer, the Braves still looking for their first lead. Now Northern rushes out of there in a hurry, but Rodney Davis in front of his own bench hears from his coach about that. Culbertson triple teamed out to Thomas. He's in trouble on the baseline, but JoJo Jackson's open. He hits. JoJo Jackson. He's got a name for a basketball player. Four points for the freshman and a four point lead for Northern. Here's the Hawk. In traffic, off the mark. Rebound, Thomas. Double team out there on top. Luke comes up to help there. Grabner with the hook. Won't go, but a whistle inside. And it's against the Huskies. Mark, you were talking about that incident with Culbertson. Uh, that happened three years ago, and apparently the student newspaper up in Northern Illinois, the Northern Star, brought all that uh, back up. Uh, Culbertson says it never happened. He answered the charges already, and it, even if it did already happen, he's been back to play in Iowa a couple of times in the last two years. Whatever happens, it certainly affected his play and his practice. Now as the Hawk goes inside, he's fouled, and a lot of whistles already, so the Braves haven't been able to get into their run-and-shoot offense. Hawkins will go to the free throw line for the second time tonight. Came into the game with 27 free throw attempts. He had hit on 25 of those. Four points for Hawkins. He needs three more to pass Chet Walker and move into third place on Bradley's all-time list. And he hits them both. We've got a timeout. Bradley down by a bucket here at Rockford. Rootworms are the biggest threat to your corn crop each year. And you need the consistent performance of Counter. Last year, tests by major universities in the Corn Belt proved that Counter works best. It prevented economic loss to rootworms in 95% of all tests. The next insecticide prevented economic loss in only 73% of the tests. That's a serious performance gap, and you can't afford a rootworm performance gap. Get Counter at your local AgriCenter dealer. They treat me right here at Methodist. As a member of the Senior Connection Club, I get the right savings on special services at Methodist. I get the right information on health, insurance, nutrition, and other timely topics from Methodist. And so can you, right here at Methodist, where senior services are right. For more information about senior services, call 674-2273. The lowest price is our guarantee at Applegate Furniture. Lazy Boy and Lane Action. You can't beat the style, fabrics, and comfort of the two leading names in recliners. 
And now Applegate brings you the largest selection in central Illinois. We have over 400 models in stock, starting as low as $179. It's worth the pleasant drive to Blackstone for Lazy Boy and Lane Action quality at the lowest prices in Illinois. Our prices are great at Applegate. Santa Claus is coming to town tonight at 6. Some real devoted students there, huh? <laughs> well, they're not wor too worried about school. If uh, you had other things to worry about today and didn't catch our uh, encore showing of Bradley Braves' Great Expectations, you still have a chance. You can get a VHS copy for your very own, a great Christmas present, I'm guessing, this time of year. Send a check for $24.95 to WEEK-TV Productions at this address. This address, 2907 Springfield Road, I'm guessing. East Peoria, 61611. If your order is received by December 17th, it will be delivered by Christmas Eve. Santa will make sure and get it to you real early. Pretty good ad lib on the address, wasn't it? <laughs> the Rockford Metro Center, the home of the Rockford Lightning of the Continental Basketball Association, and that's why you see the word lightning scribbled across the court in Is front that of you. That's there? You were at the game last. Oh, that's right. That's right. Saw a couple of old Illinois players. Bruce Douglas got into that game last night, played well. Back underway, Braves down by a bucket with about 15 minutes to play in the half. Into the ball game, Donald Whiteside, number 10. He's only 5'9 and a freshman. Comes from Chicago, Leo. Northern getting a lot of their players out of the Chicago area, just like Bradley. Rodney Davis with his first shot of the game, and it's no good. Colbertson inside, lost the ball, belongs to Northern Illinois. It's going to be a long afternoon if uh, Bradley lets Culbertson get in there on the glass and grab the rebounds like that. Somebody's got to stick their rear end into him and push him out of the lane. He's a great rebounder, averaged nine and a half per game last season. So far, seven plus a game this year. Rabner short on the short jumper. Here comes Manuel. Braves can tie the ball game. Anthony is bumped. Shot wouldn't have counted. And Donald Whiteside, the freshman, number 10, is charged with a violation. So I think we're seeing a real good job so far by Northern Illinois. They're really getting back and not letting Bradley get those easy layups. That's uh, one of Jim Rossborough's three cardinal rules for his team. One of them is on defense to pressure every shot, give no layups, which they haven't done so far, and give no second shots. They haven't really given any of those either, unless you count the tip in by Jones. He Into takes a seat. Into the ball game, Donald Powell, who was rather disappointed after Wednesday's victory against Colorado. Trippy misses the three-point attempt. Donald was happy about the victory, and he was happy about the success in the game Donnell as Donnell Thomas hits, but he wasn't very happy about his playing time. He was only in the game for 12 and a half minutes. Now, he was pretty disappointed after the game. Hawkins with a three-pointer. He's got his choice of three-point lines out there. Kind of looks like a rainbow. Well, they're only giving him a two-pointer, so he must have had Is his foot right? on the line. 13-11, Bray still down by a bucket. You will notice an abundance of three-point <laughs> lines out here tonight. One is for the NBA, one is for the CBA, and one is for the fellas playing right now. The one closest to the basket is the one they'll use for this game. I was kidding with the officials before the game. They said, uh, kind of looks like a rainbow out there, and if you straddle those lines, the blue line would count as three, or four, rather, four and a half, and so on, all the way out. I'm sure Stan would like to work out some sure. kind of arrangement. Braves trying to tie up the game. Hawkins inside, tipped up, no good. The Hawk out rebounds John Colbertson, and it spills off the rim. But we've got a foul against Northern, and it looks like we'll have a Brave at the free throw line with a chance to tie the ball game. Now Hawkins has well, five Bradford. points. Be a two shot foul. Hawkins and so Hersey Hawkins right here can make mild Bradley history as he can move past Chet Walker into third place on the all-time scoring list if he hits them both. Now he ties one of Bradley's greatest right there. Jackson back in the Husky lineup for Whiteside. I'm told he already has it. And this could tie the ball game with 13.44 to play in the half. Eyes it, shoots it, hits it. Now you talk to Hersey, he says he doesn't care who he passes just as long as he passes him. Intercepted by Wilson. Quick passing to Manuel inside, partially blocked by Davis. He says, all I got was ball. The official says, 
You got more than that. You've got your first foul. Anthony doing a good job taking the ball right to the hole. Hersey hanging out there uh, past the three-point line, maybe looking for some action out there. Manuel hitting 60% of his free throws so far. Had 16 assists the other night against Colorado in that big victory. But last year, boy, if times changed, Anthony yeah, didn't start and didn't score in that game against the Huskies. And he came in with about eight minutes left in the first half, and he has really turned things around for himself. And the Braves lead the ball game for the first time, 15-13. Here comes the full court pressure. And a foul against Luke Jackson, I believe. I think you're right. That's the second on Luke. Bradley wants to put a lot of pressure on Northern Illinois. They want to force Northern Illinois to keep up with them. So far, they haven't been able to do that. Bradley really hasn't uh, had much of a chance to run or put the pressure on. JoJo Jackson back in the game. Here's the long feed to Donnell Thomas. A couple of freshmen in the ball game, and Jackson and Thomas. Here's Thomas pulling up under double coverage. Rebound, Paul Wilson ahead to Anthony Manuel. Almost turned it over. I think he did. Wilson wide open, takes the shot against Culberson. Now the Hawk open for the three, kicks off the rim. Northern runs. Ooh, Jackson almost walks, he shoots and misses. Long feed to Wilson. He's open, looks for the pass, had it batted out of bounds by Rodney Davis, and the Braves will retain possession. Well, Bradley didn't score the last two times down the floor, but you gotta like that they picked up the tempo just a little bit. That's in their favor. And they lead the game, 15-13. With the arrival of the Morrison's new baby, the flexibility of Country Company's universal life insurance is a big help. I know it's hard to believe, but you can change the amount of your coverage, even skip payments if you need to. But why Country Companies? They've always delivered what they promised. You've got country behind you. With Country Company's universal life. You've got country companies. Why should you switch to Eradicane? for better grass control. Right, Curtis? Our grass control was excellent with the Radicane. We just felt that the Radicane, under dry conditions, acts different and works much better than Lasso under the same conditions. We switched from dual and we're well satisfied. Our dealer recommended Radicane to save us money. We're happy to report we saved almost $3 an acre with Radicane this year. For better grass control than dual or Lasso, farmers like you are switching to Radicane. The best TV commercials in the world, Wednesday night at 8. Welcome back to the Rockford Metro Center. Bradley leads Northern Illinois 15-13. Later on in the game, we will name our North Point Video Bradley player of the game. North Point Video will make a donation in the name of that player to Bradley University's General Scholarship Fund. Hawkins already with nine points. Greg Jones with four. Rodney Davis hasn't scored for Northern. JoJo Jackson and John Culbertson with four apiece. So those are the leading scorers. And we've got 12.49 to play in the first half from the Metro Center. Which, as you can see, isn't exactly SRO today. <laughs> well, students from Northern have to drive 45 minutes just to get here. And they've got finals starting tomorrow. Some Inside of them Inside the studying. Hawkins, he's fouled. Does it count? It does. Culbertson just hammered him, and he's in double digits already. That's a great thing about Hawk. We talked to Don Nelson a couple of weeks ago at the New Orleans game. Here you see Hawk going to the bucket against the big guys, and that's a great thing. He's only 6'3", but he plays like a guy that's much bigger than that. Hawkins with 11. Remember, he scored 42 and 44 points in his first two games. Mm. And he is right on a 40-point pace again here this afternoon. 18-13 in the Hawk with a dozen. Here's Grabner trying to work it across the line. They're running out of time. Davis better do something. Manuel almost 10. ripped it away from him. And it's thrown out of bounds. Who's going to get the call? Well, the shot clock's down to 33. I don't know how that can't be a 10-second call. And 33 that's and 10. That's what Stan Albeck is trying to explain. The shot clock is 12 seconds into its count. It had to be a 10-second violation, according to Stan. 
Northern Illinois will retain possession of the ball. So according to the shot clock, they got 12 seconds to bring it across if the shot clock started on time, and that's always subjective. Davis inside, banks it in his first points of the game. That pulls Northern within three. Here's Manuel, guarded by Davis. Inside the Hawk, double teamed, and he scores anyway. He has become aggressive. And in the first three games, it certainly paid off for him. That's 14 points for Hawkins, 14 of Bradley's 20. Jackson in the corner to Grabner on the post, guarded by Luke. Culbertson way out of his range. He's standing at the strike. Here's Davis. Thanks it in. Well, that's what Northern's going to do. They're going to take their time and be patient and get the good shot. They're not going to hurry things up at all. Here's Hawkins open on the wing, picked up by Jackson. Wilson doesn't have a shot. Luke a bit far from the basket, but Wilson is wide open. Out of bounds, off the hands of JoJo Jackson. When Northern's on the offensive end, they'll get the ball, and they have the shot when they get the ball, but if they're 15 feet out or further, they don't take it, and apparently they have instructions not to, even when they're open. Have you noticed that? Well, yeah, they, like I say, they work the ball around. Uh, they want to move the ball around and pass quite a bit. They're a lot like Illinois State in that manner. They want to work the ball and, and get just the shot that they want. The Braves get the shot they want from Hawkins, but he doesn't sink it. Culbertson bounces to Grabner. The big guy inside shoots over Luke Jackson. A battle for the rebound. Comes down to little Anthony Manuel. A bounce to Donald Powell, and boy, did he just run over JoJo Jackson. Well, again, Bradley has got to be smart enough not to force something like that. They had four guys back again on defense. Donald put his shoulder down like he was going for the first down. <laughs> That's the first on Donald and the fifth on the Braves. Bradley will be in the bonus when Northern fouls again. We've got ten and a half to play and Bradley up by three. We're in the first half. Davis with the ball to Donnell Thomas. Into the ball game, Brett Andricks, number 14. Didn't play against Bradley last year. Foul on Manuel. Hmm. Anthony hand-checked him. They didn't let him get away with it. Bradley's intensity on the defensive end of the floor, I think, has picked up just a little bit here. They're forcing Northern to uh, move the ball a little bit more. Both teams now have a bonus. Rodney Davis at the line. So Davis steps up to the free throw line where he is shooting 80%. He is averaging 20 points a game. Off to a slow start in this one, but he hits the free throw, and now he has five points. Jim Rossborough says Rodney Davis might be the best-kept secret in the Midwest. Thinks pretty highly of the young man. I kind of thought you were, Lee, but... <laughs> Jerry Thomas checks into the ball game for Bradley. John Culbertson and JoJo Jackson taking a seat for Northern Illinois, and they are replaced by Matt Hardy. And Andrick's in the game, and now Davis steps up trying to hit his second free throw, which would pull Northern within a point, and it does. The pass is batted away. Here's Davis, back to Thomas. He blew the layup. Let's see if the Braves can capitalize on that mistake. Hawkins lost the ball, recovers. Andricks guarding him. Brett Andricks, meet Hersey Hawkins. Let's see how he does against him. Not very well. The basket won't count. And let's see who the whistle is against. Boy, that's going to be a mismatch if they leave Andricks on Hersey. He will just blow by him all afternoon. It's on Andricks. The basket won't count, but Hersey will go to the free throw line where he has really cashed in this year. Already six points at the free throw line today. Make it seven. Well, that might be a little bit uh, of help from all the publicity he's gotten. You know, everyone knows who Hersey Hawkins is now, and maybe he'll get the benefit of a doubt on a call where two years ago he wouldn't. I'll say they know. We have five NBA scouts here again today, and they're not here to see Northern Illinois. 
2-2-1 full court zone press. Grabner with a dangerous pass, just gets it to Thomas who pulls up and misses. Matt Hardy on the rebound, he's in a crowd, looking for some relief, finds it. Davis with the jumper and now he's hot. A three point basket ties the game, Rodney Davis. Jerry Thomas on the rebound, rolls in and out. And Grabner is there to collect the carom for Northern Illinois. And now the Huskies do a little running. Cross court to Andrus. Open for a moment. Grabner will take the shot instead, and he's short. Thomas. Donnell Thomas, the freshman, the good rebounder, and he showed it right there. A 24-22 lead, and Manuel with the three-pointer is good. Graves back on top, and now things are getting interesting. And I think Northern Illinois is learning that they can move down the floor a little bit quicker than they have been told they're able to. Yeah, that's really interesting to see them run the ball like that. Did a good job on that last possession. Andricks now, a little more basic here as he throws it out of bounds. Back in for the Huskies. Brian Banks checks back, checks back in for Northern Illinois, number 24. He's the freshman from De La Salle High School. He's obviously done some things well. He only had three minutes in two games up to this point today. He's replacing Mike Grabner, and they'll miss him while he's out of there. He's a very consistent player for them. Bounce pass into Hersey. Off the glass, it's good at counts, and he was fouled in the play. <laughs> With 8.43 remaining, the Braves can go up by four. Good entry pass there by Paul Wilson, and Hersey is just one shot. Uncontrollable down there on the blocks for a guy 6'3". 18 points for Hawkins. We have nearly nine minutes to play in the first half. 19 points for Hersey Hawkins. Our statistician Perry Cole is going to need a bigger budget for pencils over here. Great trap he right there. Great trap right there. Turned it over. That is the perfect spot to trap, Mark. Once they cross the half-court line, then they can't go back or it's over and back. He's got nowhere to go. Great defensive play there. And where we will go is the half-court. to Wilson. Ah! 28-24 Bradley. It didn't miss a thing. Graves with the ball. Wilson will inbound. They also have Jerry Thomas, Donald Powell, Anthony Manuel, and Percy Hawkins out there. Here's Wilson. Drives the baseline. Throws it outside for Manuel. And he walks. Just kind of get the feeling. You see Stan Albeck looking on. Bradley really hasn't gotten into anything. They picked up the tempo there for a couple of minutes, but really haven't uh, hit their stride yet in this ball game. Outside, Grabner's wide open, and he won't take the shot. Thomas guarded by Wilson, and he's called for the foul. And Stan Albeck saying he slipped. Wilson. Well, that just goes to show you the. First, you saw there that time the difference in the two coaching philosophies. If anybody on Bradley had that open shot and passed it up, they'd be sitting pretty quick. They didn't come to Bradley to pass up that shot. Donnell Thomas at the free throw line in the one and one with 7.58 to play in the half and Bradley by four. He cuts it to three. Thomas once scored 51 points for his Chicago Robeson High School. He was of course, a few years behind Greg Jones, so they're meeting for the first time, but I'm sure that Greg has heard of him. And he has certainly heard a little about him tonight as Len Bertolini checks in. So the Braves with basically three guards in there right now, Bertolini, Hawkins, and Anthony Manuel. The Bradley lead has been cut to two.
to treat a woman at Methodist. We know you're on the go, at work, at play. We understand your special needs. Young, old, or in between, we can help you be well and stay well with a full range of health services. We're a total resource for today's woman with the latest technology and information on nutrition, exercise, and more. We're in touch with a woman's needs, your needs. We're Methodist Medical Center, and we really know how to treat a woman like you. Santa Claus is coming to town tonight at 6. The next time we talk to you from a Bradley Braves game, it will be January 2nd from Chicago. The Braves at Loyola at 3.30 right here on WEEK, your best seat in the house for Braves basketball. Bradley leading Northern Illinois right now, 28-26 here in the first half. It's been a close one here in the first half, and we probably didn't expect that. Well, the, the reason, only reason I would expect it is because Bradley's on the road. Oh, look at those lovely faces. They made the trip. Northern Illinois cheerleaders didn't. That's odd. <laughs> well, and I know a big disappointment for you. Well, of course. <laughs> Stan's having a serious discussion with one of the officials here. All right, the Braves with a two-point lead. Manuel and Hawkins, Powell, Bertolini, and Jerry Thomas. This is an interesting lineup. We'll see how it works. It works fine when he's got the ball. Thomas with the rebound, and for a freshman, he is rather authoritative on the board. Bounces to Grabner, back to Thomas. Got it. Ooh. Bradley's got their three guards in there, hoping to take advantage of their quickness against Northern Illinois. The only time it's going to hurt them is what happened last time down the floor when they don't hit the offensive board. Powell on the rebound. Bradley up to that basket was shooting only 38% from the field. But they were perfect at the free throw line, 11 of 11. That's a switch. And that's the first time we've seen an offensive rebound in a little while from Bradley. Randy Norman, number 30, who was a mainstay of this team for several years, now coming in off the bench to Thomas underneath. Nice move as he's double teamed. And a good job by the Braves not to foul him. And then he fouled Donald Powell. It's on Thomas, his first. Donnell Thomas. We have two Thomases and two Jones in this ballgame. Or Jacksons, I should say. So we'll have to be careful about that. Please do. Jim Rossborough with... Stan Albeck. He doesn't look too excited, does he? Trevor Trimpey back in the game for the Braves as Donald Powell steps up to the line. And he misses the free throw. And Mike Grabner, once again, underneath the boards, a white jersey. 6.45 to play in the half, and Bradley only by a bucket, 30 to 28. Well, they could turn it on any time. Shrimpy doing a nice job on Thomas to create the turnover. Norman batted the ball out of bounds, and it's a good thing he did because the Hawk was headed for a basket and maybe a foul the way things have been going today. Might have had a three-point play going for himself. In it goes to Manuel, who shoots and misses. Shrimpy on the rebound. He didn't have any offensive rebounds last week. At seven on the defensive end. Donald Powell throws up the brick, almost turned it over. Here comes Northern. That's something we talked about uh, in the last couple of days, Mark. Uh, you and I, that Trevor doesn't get many offensive boards. He, a lot of things he does you're not going to see in the box score either. Well, without Luke in the ball game, he's going to have to get a few. Rodney Davis. Number 32, trying to move around Manuel, shoots over him and hits. He was ice cold when the game started. He's got 11 now. The game's tied. Jerry Thomas, charging. Matt Hardy took the charge. And now we've got a substitution for Northern Illinois as Brian Banks comes in. Here comes Bradley on the break, and I think you're going to see the man was set when Jerry went up. Got to go straight up on those. The Huskies can take a lead here. They do. Randy Norman. Randy Norman gives it to him. Hawk 
second. And this time he's fouled by Davis, who looked like the human fly swatter. And Two it, on him. And if you pay attention right up there in the upper right-hand corner of your screen, you saw a nice little dance by Jim Rossborough. Second personal. The, the foul wasn't on the block. It was with the body. Jackson because you can see, he pretty much got all ball on the block. White side in for Rodney Davis for NIU. So Davis takes a seat with two fouls, and Donald Whiteside checks in, number 10 for Northern Illinois. Greg Jones back in the ball game for the Braves, and so is Luke Jackson. Hawkins is 8-for-8 eight eight at the free throw line, which this year means he is 33 of 35. Forget OTB, bet on this guy. <laughs> he's good again, and the game's tied. And he's 10 points away from 3,000, 2,000. 21 <laughs> points. He needs 10 more, as Lee said, to become the third player to go over 2,000 points for the Braves. Good pressure, eh? Is that 10? It is. Yes. Donald Whiteside couldn't get it across the line in time. Now, that time, the shot clock was only down to 34. And the time before it was down to 33, and they didn't get the 10-second call. Got to take these guys out to the time museum where we were staying to have them figure things out. Now, time runs <laughs> a little bit longer here. Oh, boy. 5.08 to play. Game tied. Trimpy the trigger man underneath the northern basket. And it goes to Manuel. 30, Brian! Hawkins fakes the shot against Matt Hardy. Trimpy open for the three, doesn't take it. They're trying to work one free, aren't they? Hawkins yeah. doesn't take it, but the Trimpy does. It's like Northern playing a little bit of zone that time down the floor. That or they're switching a lot on the baseline, not following their man through. Intercepted by Manuel, guarded by Norman. Wide open, Hawkins. He threw the dunk. That's about as rare as visits by Soviet secretaries. <laughs> and embarrassing. Well, we saw that in the CBA game last night and laughed. I never thought I'd see him do that. Maybe it's the arena. This is Hardy, bounces to Grabner, turnaround hook is good, and he does that well. He likes that hook shot. He's done it a couple of times for four points. And Northern has the lead. Luke Jackson is bumped by Grabner, and the foul will be against number 50. No, Mike not. Grabner, his second of the ball game. He is a guy who racks up fouls rather rapidly. He fouled out of 10 games last year. 10 games. There's Donnell Thomas back in. And he's already fouled out of two games this year. Now Jim Rossborough perhaps with some decisions to make. Well, when you're that big and that physical on the inside, you're going to foul out of a lot of games. Now time for the adventures of Luke Jackson, who missed all six free throw attempts in Wednesday's game against Colorado, and he remains consistent. Missed here. Came into this ball game shooting 8% from the line. Ouch. Northern can go up by four with three and a half to play. In the first half, Thomas with a shot over everyone. Hawkins with a rebound. Anthony Manuel races out of there to Greg Jones. Look out. Big time collision when that guy's coming through, and the foul is against Greg. A little bit out of control here. Boy, Northern is doing an excellent job getting back. I don't think we've seen anybody do that. New Orleans or Colorado hasn't done it that well. They're really causing problems. Bradley hasn't gotten to break like they'd like to. Well, I think this club has better athletic ability than Colorado, even though it has the same philosophy. New, uh, New Orleans' philosophy on defense was sort of a question mark all throughout that game. Just outscore whoever you're playing. That's their defense. Rodney Davis with 11 points. Rodney Davis with 12 points. And Northern.
Northern up by four with 3.24 to play at the Metro Center in lovely downtown. In 1959, Coors first put draft beer in bottles and cans. That same year, an Hispanic kid from Pacoima rocked the nation, and fans learned a new language from a young man named Richie. The skyrocket success of Richie Valens. The brewery fresh draft taste of Coors beer. You can copy the style, but there's only one original. Hi, this is Stan Allback, and this is my man for the best car deals in the Peoria area. Bruce Sowers at Veldy Ford and Veldy Lincoln Mercury. Thanks, Stan. We've got the best selection of new and used cars and trucks at the lowest prices right here at Veldy Ford and Veldy Lincoln Mercury. If you think about it, why would you want to go anywhere else? Come in and join the Veldy team today. Bradley and Veldy, the two hottest teams in central Illinois. And remember, if he can't beat your best deal, he'll give you the car free. Just tell him Stan sent you. A Crystal Christmas, Tuesday at 9 on WEEK. Thank you, boys. Wonderful day here in Rockford. The, the Bradley basketball telecast is protected by broadcast rights granted by Bradley University and the Missouri Valley Conference. Any rebroadcast or other use without the express written consent of WEEK-TV and Bradley University is prohibited. A little champagne that, music you know, for you that today. That guy played at my wedding. <laughs> We got a nice look at Trevor Trimpey's sister and girlfriend in that shot, too. They're at the game today. A lot of folks making the trek across the state of Illinois to take in the Braves on the road. 36-32, though, Northern Illinois with the lead and 324 to play in the half. And the Braves send out Anthony Manuel and Hersey Hawkins. Luke Jackson at center, flanked at forward by Trimpey and Powell. Northern Illinois with six players on the floor, and they'll have to pick five of those. <laughs> And I think they've made their decision. Culbertson comes out with Stacy Errington, number 20. He's the newest player in the ball game. Hasn't seen action yet. A freshman from Chicago, Calumet. Donnell Thomas, Randy Norman, Rodney Davis, you know about him. Here's the Hawk at the foul line. Dribbles through traffic all the way to the bucket. A good mismatch that time. Donald came out and set up the pick, and that put Hawk on Culbertson. He just blew right down the lane, right by him. Now they spread it out. Northern shooting 53% from the field so far. The Braves only 32%. Here's Culbertson. Intercepted by Donald Powell, and here comes Big D. Good idea. Manuel holds up two fingers, indicating a set play. Whips the ball over to Hawkins on the right wing, almost stolen by Norman. Now Manuel with the pass to Trimpey. Donald with designs on the turnaround, hits it. That's a shot he won't miss too often. We're tied again. A good job that time. Donald got the steal and then tried to bring the ball up the floor. He knew he wasn't going to do much with it, so he just held it up rather than double dribble or kick the ball away. And he doesn't move real well right now on that knee with Persitis. Tell that to Thomas. He's bumping him all over. Stacy Arrington, the freshman is short, but the veteran. Rodney Davis, Rodney Davis on the follow-up. 15 points for him. He's been overshadowed by Hershey Hawkins today, who's negotiating for possession there, but the ball will belong to Bradley. He didn't need to argue. Down to 145 to play in the half here at Rockford. Braves down by a bucket, looking for the equalizer. Manuel looking for a lead. A three-point basket. Gives it to Bradley. Northern's doing anything they can to keep Bradley from moving the ball up the floor. They're slowing it down on the offensive end. They're down in a 2-3 zone now against Bradley, trying to slow down the tempo of the game, force uh, Bradley to take some time off the clock not give up any easy baskets. Stolen by Trevor Trimpey, the man who plays such good defense. Donald Powell is fouled from behind by Rodney Davis, and that's three on him. So I think Jim Rossborough might want to take him out for a while so he won't get a fourth before the second half begins. And here comes Donald Whiteside to replace Rodney Davis. Stan doesn't look real happy to be here. <laughs> oh boy 
I'm not going to make any comments about uh, where he is either. Rockford. <laughs> Sorry. My rebound. Howell at the line, hitting the first. Minute 12. Donald has played sparingly this year. Only 12 and a half minutes against Colorado, only 18 in the opener. So he has to cash in while he can, and he yeah. does there at the free throw line. He's got to make the best of whatever opportunities he gets. Maybe get out of that doghouse. First 10 games last year, Donald Powell was averaging 20 points and 10 rebounds. Right now, he's hardly averaging 10 minutes. This is Norman underneath. Scoops, hits, it counts. Luke Jackson with three fouls now, and here's the last. Well, Donald didn't get to the baseline quite quick enough. Norman just blows right by him. I didn't see Luke foul him, but no. I think there was such a flurry of activity there. I don't think he picked out the right guy. I think Donald hit him from behind, but we're down to 55 seconds to play in the half, and Bradley up by one, but Norman can take care of that here if he can hit his charity shot. He's three for three this year at the free throw line. Doesn't visit it often. Now Northern with a little pressure. And it works. Culbertson picks it off. Donald Whiteside with 45 seconds left, but 41 on the shot clock. So Northern's going to have to take one. And I think Jim Rossborough is going to work the clock and try to get a lead and give the Braves only a few seconds to get the equalizer. Well, that's exactly what he's going to do. This is Donald Whiteside, number 10. You can see the time remaining in the game on your screen. In a half, I'm sorry. Turnover, get it, get it. A scramble for it, Whiteside recovers. Four seconds on the shot clock, and the shot is no good. Three seconds, two Hit seconds, it. here's Hersey. No miracles today, at least if there are going to be any. He's apparently saving them for the second half, which we will start tied at 41. Greenview Nursery has it all for Christmas. Cut trees, flowering plants, and holiday decorations. Come visit us on Cedar Hills Drive, just past Lake of the Woods Shopping Center. Open six days a week. Corn growers around here know Counter gives you more. More rootworm control, more root mass, more corn. And Counter in furrow gives you more protection where it's needed most. Counter consistently outperforms every other rootworm insecticide. And you can't afford a performance gap. So get more. The Need for Nutrition, Monday on Kids Nowadays. Be watching later in the game when we name our North Point Video Bradley Player of the Game. North Point Video will make a donation in the name of that player to Bradley's General Scholarship Fund. And right now, our game here at Rockford is tied 41-41 between Bradley and Northern Illinois. And uh, the Huskies are doing a good job of defending the Braves so far. Well, yeah, they are, Mark. And Bradley's going to find this all season long. This is Northern's game of the year, practically. They've done a good job getting back, keeping Bradley from fast breaking. They've also kept Bradley off the offensive boards, and that is the reason we're tied 41 all here at halftime. But they haven't been able to keep Hersey Hawkins quiet. He has 23 points. We're going to talk more about the statistics, but right now we'll let the folks at Bradley talk to you. Congressman Bob Michaels, Republican leader of the U.S. Santa Claus is coming to town tonight at 6. Our score here in Rockford is Bradley 41, Northern Illinois 41 at the half. So far this season, the Bradley Braves have had the signature of Hersey Hawkins stamped right on them. 42 in the first game against New Orleans, 44, a career high against Colorado. We know he's a great basketball player, but he's a pretty good guy, too. I tell you, today, I never realized that I would make it to this point where I am now. I don't know, I figured maybe, no, no, maybe after my sophomore year, I maybe realized that maybe I did have a little potential. Then after last year, you know, now I feel like I can go out and score any, any amount of points, you know. And 
you know, I guess that's basically the way I feel. You know, I feel that, you know, I can go out any night and do whatever it takes for, for the team to win the game. I feel that I, I don't know, maybe I am the star of the team. I try, not, I try not to put it like that because I figure any, you know, all five of us go out there to win a game and, you know, they have just as much as talent as I do. Does that mean a lot to you, though, to, to be considered with the best who have played here? Yes, it do. Uh, I guess Bradley has always had um, an excellent tradition of basketball players and, you know, and producing quality players. And to be up in um, the top five or whatever of them, you know, it's, I don't know, it's, uh, I can say it's a prestigious award or it's something that, you know, you always remember being up in the top, especially with Chet Walker. Um, what do you think, aside from the scoring and everything, what do you think you've meant to Bradley. Do you think you've meant a lot to this university that people are gonna think of you a lot when they think of Bradley? Well, I hope so. <laughs> I hope I've helped to the point where, you know, we're able to bring in quality basketball players. Now, it's not just Bradley's not taking, you know, second class to anybody anymore. You know, I think that now we're able to recruit in the tops and, you know, maybe go out and play with them. Um, you know, with the big name schools like DePaul and things like that, you know. Uh, Bradley, has, it has done a lot for me, you know. I'll, I won't doubt that any, and you know, I just hope to return it in any kind of way that I can. Are you going to remember Bradley? Are you going to remember all this once you get the big time? Oh, yes, definitely. Uh, this, this has been an experience probably I'll never forget, you know, being here my four years. And, you know, I don't anticipate losing contact with Bradley or, you know, the people that I've known in Peoria, I've made good friends with, you know, I anticipate on coming back and, you know, trying hopefully being the same person, you know, being friends with the same people who I have made. Well, there's one thing for sure. Bradley will never forget Percy Hawkins. He's got 23 so far here in the first half, and uh, now let's take a look at some of the other stats. First of all, the one that hits you right between the eyes is the shooting percentage. Bradley hitting only about 38% to Northern's 53, and the rebounds dead even. Bradley with seven on the offensive end and 11 on the defensive end. And the Braves have turned it over three fewer times than Northern Illinois. As for the individual statistics, you heard about Hersey Hawkins, 23 points. Anthony Manuel with eight. Hawkins, by the way, is 11 of 11 from the free throw line, but only six of 14 from the field. Powell with six points. As for Northern Illinois, they're being led by Rodney Davis with 15, but he has three personal fouls, so that might be a factor. Donnell Thomas, the freshman from Greg Jones' alma mater, Robeson High School, with nine points. And Randy Norman with five. So they're a little more balanced than Bradley. Only four Braves have scored this afternoon. <laughs> Hawkins, Manuel, Powell, and Greg Jones. Jones and Jackson, by the way, Luke Jackson, with three fouls apiece. So the Braves have not spread the scoring out tonight as they did in the first two games even though Hawkins was so productive. And I'm not sure if that's affecting the ball game or not. One thing for sure is affecting those lack of spread out scoring uh, statistics, and that is the shooting percentage of 38%. The Braves will start the second half tied with Northern and with a lineup of Hersey Hawkins, Anthony Manuel, Trevor Trimpey, Donald Powell, and Greg Jones. Luke Jackson will start the second half on the bench, and here's Manuel holding up a finger indicating a set play. Northern starting the second half in a man-to-man. -man. Manuel holding the ball high against Randy Norman inside to Greg Jones, threw it away, but it was last touch by Northern Illinois. The Huskies with Randy Norman, Rodney Davis, Donnell Thomas, John Culbertson, and Mike Grabner. Hawkins picked up by Norman, but Trimpey's wide open, and he's long. Powell on the follow. Still can't hit anything. Bradley needs to play some good defense for more than two or three passes here. Trimpey does the job. Let's see if they can do it on the other end. Manuel stops and hits. 
Give him a three-point basket and a 44-41 lead. When you've got a four-on-four -four break like that, when Northern's getting all those people back, that's not a bad idea to pull up and try that three. That's something Anthony is doing well. He knows when he has to score to help this team, and he's done it so far in the first couple of games. Donnell Thomas is fouled by Trippy as he puts the ball to the floor. Thomas hurt his hand. Foul is on Trippy. First personal. First team foul. That's the first foul on Trevor. We are just underway in the second half from Rockford. Bradley with a three-point lead via the three-point bomb by Anthony Manuel. Anthony on the steal, but he fouled him. You could see him sizing Davis up and then leaping like a cat at the ball, but he got a piece of it. Here we see something it. that uh, Bradley's done pretty effectively in the early going of the season, against, especially against New Orleans. Uh, Anthony will get picked, and then the, uh, the big man will pop out there, and they'll double-team the ball and put a lot of pressure on the ball that way. Almost worked that time. Grabner holds it at the foul line, almost stolen by Hawkins. Norman with the between the legs dribble, and now with the drive and with the rebound, but not the basket. Davis rattles in and out. Manuel calls a play while he dribbles it up the floor. It's batted away. Davis takes over. Stan Albeck says he stepped out of bounds, <laughs> and the official was there to take his instructions. And now Jim Rossboro is very upset. Well, the guy, the ref didn't blow the whistle until Stan yelled at him. Stan stood there, put his finger exactly where the footprint was, and the whistle blew immediately. I thought he was going to get the. I thought he was going to trip the guy going down the floor. I thought he was going to get his hand stepped on. <laughs> Wasn't it down before he stepped down there? <laughs> Braves with a three-point lead, looking to build on that. Hawkins does. 25 points. Boy, he finds a way to maneuver through all those big guys down there. Good use of the glass that time. Davis with the spin and the miss. But Norman is there to collect the carom out at the key. Donnell Thomas inside against double coverage. Rebound Culbertson. He blew the shot. Manuel drives, gives it up to Powell for the jumper. Yes. And a timeout called by Northern. We'll be right back. When Ed moved to Wheaton, he thought he was going to have to look high and low for a country company's auto claim center. He didn't know that country companies has more of them than anyone else in the state. So how about it, Ed? Hard to find? Nope. It's just five minutes from my house. And the country company folks around here are just as friendly. You've got the country behind you. With the most auto claim centers. You've got the country company. At North Point Video in Peoria and Morton, get the best in Sony Entertainment. You'll find an excellent selection of video cameras and radios. North Point Video's competitive prices bring Sony Trinitron Color TV performance within reach of any home entertainment budget. The latest in Sony video technology is at North Point Video, now at two locations. For large inventory, low prices, and professional service, North Point Video and Appliance at North Point Plaza in Peoria and 250 Detroit Avenue in Morton. A Crystal Christmas, Tuesday at 9 on WEEK. One New Year's resolution you won't want to break. Watch the Stan Albeck Show. Starts January 3rd at 11 o'clock right here on WEEK. Stan Albeck's team is up by 7. But Jim Rossborough's team has the ball. Northern Illinois' Randy Norman with it. Culbertson out of his range. 
Powell with the good defensive play, but Davis with the recovery. And Culbertson with the layup that is no good. And then he follows it in to cut the Bradley lead to five. And now we've got to find the ball. I was just about to say that Northern hadn't gotten the ball into their postmen and done anything with it the last couple of times. And you want to get things into your postman early this year because Christmas is coming. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here's Manuel, double coverage, bounce pass, and turnaround jumper by Ugh. Greg Jones is way off the mark. Donnell Thomas almost had it stolen by Trimpey. Thomas is short on the jumper. Trimpey with a defensive board. Manuel drives all the way and lays it up no good. Back comes Northern. They're getting into the running game, and they look pretty good at it. Donnell Thomas uses the glass. It's a three-point Bradley lead. Something Bradley's not used to seeing somebody do that to him. Hawkins, a three-pointer. 28 points for Hersey Hawkins. You can't have an agent until you graduate, but this guy needs an accountant to keep track. Oh, he walked. And that'll turn it over. A lot of folks from Peoria and Central Illinois here today. The Siddlers are here, and they wanted us to say hello to their children, Dodie and Tanner, who are watching this afternoon on WEEK. Into the ball game, JoJo Jackson, Mike Grabner, and Donnell Thomas take a seat. Brian Banks also into the game, a freshman, so they throw him right in during crucial moments of the game here. Jim Rossboro will learn something. Northern Illinois back in his zone. Manuel with a long bomb that's no good off the rim. Rebound Hawkins and a foul underneath. Whew. Percy Hawkins at the free throw line today is 11 out of 11. That means he's gone to the free throw line 39 times this year. And to put that in perspective, Trevor Trimpey in his entire Bradley career has gone to the free throw line 40 times. I tell you, he gets the ball and he does something with it every time. And even if he doesn't get the ball, he hits the boards well. That time he was higher than anybody. Incidentally, the foul was on Brian Banks and Hersey Hawkins with 29, looking for 30. He needed 31 for 2,000 points. So he's one away, 1,999. I thought Prince was from uh, Minnesota. I don't know. Here's Norman. Inside Culbertson goes up against Powell. He's long on the shot. Jones goes down with Culbertson in the backcourt. Manuel pushes the ball up the floor in a hurry to Trimpey. Bounce pass Donald. Nobody's home. And then he's fouled in the play. JoJo Jackson on the foul, Donald Powell with the layup, and with a chance to make it a three-point play. That's the third foul against JoJo. That's typical Trevor Trimpey, too. Make a great pass, do something that won't necessarily make a box score, that won't make headlines to help the team. You saw Mike Grabner check back in. Donald Powell misses the free throw, but Greg Jones turns it into two points. And a 12-point Bradley lead. The Braves have outscored Northern since halftime, 16 to four. Boy, and that might be the backbreaker right there. That might be the turning point we see for Bradley. Grabner, top of the circle, inside to Rodney Davis, and now Culbertson has it batted out of his hands by Hawkins, who's playing well on both ends of the floor now. He Bra had one sensational game against New Orleans when he had several steals and six rebounds and a carload of assists, and there is his saw, near steal there. Saw great help on defense that time. Norman goes up over Powell, and the little guy gets the rebound with Trimping and Powell standing right in front of him. 14 and a half to play in the game. Braves by 12, Braves by 10 as Culbertson turns and hits. Here's Hawkins, this should be 2,000. <laughs> Only Chet 
or at least only Mitchell Anderson and Roger Fagley have more. Seems like every time he touches the ball, a little bit of Bradley history's made. Hawk on the rebound this time. Shoots, got it. A three-point basket, 62 to 47. Jim Rossboro. Yeah, he wants it. He almost broke his fingers calling that one, but the Braves have broken his team's back. They treat me right here at Methodist. As a member of the Senior Connection Club, I get the right savings on special services at Methodist. I get the right information on health, insurance, nutrition, and other timely topics from Methodist. And so can you. Right here at Methodist. Where senior services are right. For more information about senior services, call 674-2273. For years, the people of Central Illinois have been telling you about Pekin new car dealers. Uh, as a woman, it's tough to shop for a car. I feel I'm being taken a lot of times, and I don't think that happened at the dealer in Pekin. I saved a couple thousand dollars at Pekin new car dealers. Isn't it time you found out for yourself? For the best selection, best service before and after the sale, and the best price, look no further than the Pekin new car dealers. They have what you're looking for, and they have it for less. The best TV commercials in the world, Wednesday night at 8. Bradley on top with 13.34 to play. It's a 15-point Braves lead. And a big spurt since halftime has the Braves sitting pretty. But we've got a long way to go. Hersey Hawkins going over the 2,000-point mark. Mitchell Anderson and Roger Fagley, the only Braves to have done that before him. And we're only in the third game of the season. This guy could rack up quite a bundle. We had a, a long talk before the season, and uh, he joked if Stan Albeck would have been here for his entire four-year career, we he would have had to start over. He would have broken everybody's records and kept going a long time ago. A 21-6 run by Bradley. Brave shooting 61% in this half. Here's the steal. Donald Powell going to try and make it all the way. He does. 12 points for Donald. <laughs> I thought he was going to run out of gas there or lose the ball. Ah, he was coasting. <laughs> coasting like a truck like down a, a hill. Like a battle cruiser. That's all right. 12 points for Big D. Here's JoJo Jackson. Banks with nowhere to go, so he gives it up to freshman Jackson. A couple of freshmen out there in Banks and Jackson. They put those freshmen in there, and things turned around, and now Manuel is fouled as he steals it. JoJo Jackson on the call. That's four on him. He takes a seat. Donnell Thomas, another freshman, checks in. Bradley's getting to the ball right here. They don't... Uh they were anticipating the pass in the first half, but not getting the steal. They're getting the steals now. They're not letting Northern Illinois uh, make use of their big men inside. Bradley by 17. Northern back in a man-to-man. -man. Powell inside, blocked by Grabner. A bit of Donald's own medicine there. He led the Missouri Valley Conference in blocks a year ago. And Norman connects on the jump shot. He's one of their best outside shooters. But the Huskies turn it over and the Braves, or at least the Braves turn it over and the Huskies will have it back. Down by 15. Bradley came into this game rated 19th in the country by Sports Illustrated and 22nd by the Sporting News. So if nothing else, Hersey Hawkins has not only made himself recognized, but 
the rest of the fellas in the red jerseys. Grabner with a nice shot over Powell. And you can tell that the knee is bothering Donald because he just doesn't get up, not only up and down the floor, but up as well as he did. Ooh. Hawkins misses the jumper. He won't miss many of those coming off that double screen. He was wide open. Norman trying to cut it to 11, still with the basketball. Right wing shot is good. An 11 point Bradley lead, and the Braves want to talk about that. 11-13 to play here at the Rockford Metro Center, and we'll be right back. We really know how to treat a woman at Methodist. We know you're on the go, at work, at play. We understand your special needs. Young, old, or in between, we can help you be well and stay well with a full range of health services. We're a total resource for today's woman with the latest technology and information on nutrition, exercise, and more. We're in touch with a woman's needs, your needs. We're Methodist Medical Center, and we really know how to treat a woman like you. This is a commercial the makers of Counter don't want you to hear. Both Diphenate Insecticide and Counter, see, I said, both Diphenate and Counter give you about the same rootworm control, but Diphenate costs less per acre. And another thing, Diphenate controls cutworms, Counter doesn't. So use Diphenate and get more control than Counter for less per acre. Diphenate, more control for less. Santa Claus is coming to town tonight at 6. And after the ball game, we'll take you into a little bit of the Christmas spirit. Santa Claus is coming to town. Better not pout, Mark. This Christmas classic stars Fred Astaire. So stay tuned right after the ball game. And maybe Santa will bring Bradley a victory here this afternoon. 64-53, the Braves leading by 11 with 11-13 to play in this afternoon's contest. Back underway. The crowd thrilled here this afternoon at the Metro Center. Well, there's a pretty good Bradley contingent. Norman with the pop way outside. Hawkins on the rebound, but a foul away from the ball on Greg Jones. Foul is on Greg Jones. When Norman hit two in a row, this is the first one he's missed in a while. Great effort by Hawk. Unfortunately, Greg Jones helped him make a sandwich there and got called for the foul. Norman likes that spot, but Shrimpy knows it, and he picked him up quickly. This is Brian Banks, left-handed shooter. No good off the rim, and Donald is hurting. Donald didn't come out of there like he normally does. He sort of stutter stepped. I think he got hit in the mouth when he pulled the ball down. It's the turnaround. Oh. You talked about Santa Claus bringing Bradley a present with a win here. A stocking stuffer might just be the play of that guy right there. It's nice to see him contribute. 14 points on the ledger so far this afternoon. And a 13-point Bradley lead. We've got 10 minutes to go in the second half. And now a foul is called away from the ball against Northern Illinois. Looks like it's against Donnell Thomas. It is, and it's three on him. Ball on Thomas, second personal, fourth team foul. I'm sorry, it's the second on Thomas. John Culbertson back in the NIU lineup. And there you see who is in jeopardy at this point in the ball game. the mark and he was way outside when he took it and we've got another whistle it's like Culbertson again it is he, he got away with one before they called that when he knocked Hawk out of the lane that's the third one on Culbertson these big big guys for Northern getting a lot of foul trouble he had 12 rebounds in last year's game against the Braves and 13 points and he didn't play the last game didn't start at any rate Powell underneath, rattles one home. 16 points for Donald. He may get 20 this afternoon. Oh, 
Now we've talked and talked about the troubles he's had with the weight and then that causing problems with the knees and not getting the playing time. Obertson backs in, blocked by Luke Jackson, who's back in the ball game. Hersey with a great recovery. Anthony Manuel with a gallant effort. It belongs to Northern Illinois. Oh. Anthony Manuel left part of himself on the floor here at the Rockford Metro Center. Boy, there's no lack of hustle here. Hawk just about diving over the table. Look at Anthony. I think he got a 9.8 from the judges on that one. Nice dive. That's what the uh, the Bears are expecting from Jerry Rice tomorrow. Great hustle, but Northern comes up with the ball. Thomas. Donnell Thomas. Rescued by Thomas. And the freshman has 13. The Braves have a 13-point lead. We've got 8.55 to go. Manuel takes the shot. Jackson was fouled. No call. Norman bounces to Thomas, banks it up, and a whistle on Trimpey. They called it at that end, but not at this one. Well, it looks like Culbertson had a pretty good lock on Luke's arm down at the other end. Well, um, Trimpey. Second personal. Northern not afraid to break with the ball this afternoon. Fourth team foul. So Trevor has a pair of fouls. Two times now. Thomas at the line. Two shots. Thomas with a big night when the Huskies played UW-Green Bay the other day in a 71-67 loss. He had 15 points and 12 rebounds. And he's one of the many talented freshmen on this Northern Illinois team. Luke Jackson with the rebound as Donnell Thomas comes up empty at the free throw line. Manual top of the circle. Hawkins shoots and misses. The Hawk has not shot re real well this afternoon, but he's gotten a lot of shots and a lot of free throws. That's why he's got as many points as he does, and now Northern literally throws the ball away. Down here on the offensive end, Luke got knocked into the referee. Grabner was pushing him so bad that he knocked him into the referee, and they still didn't get a call. Jim Rossboro has a couple of talented seniors, a lot of talented freshmen, nobody really in between there to help him out in the next couple of years. The Hawks from a strange angle, but a not so strange result, 37 points. Three more for his third straight 40-point game, and Joe D'Alfonso was telling me before the game that to the best of his knowledge, no one has ever scored 40 points per game, three games in a row. Well. for a Bradley team. Rodney Davis. Rodney Davis with the smooth move on the other end, and Luke Jackson with the layup on the side. And a whistle. Will it count? That's been good by Jackson. Let's see what looks the like jury he, says. Well, let's see what we think. Well, looks like he was in the act of going up. I think they're only going to give him one free throw. Count it. Give him the basket. It's 72-57. Colbert's been charged with the foul, his fourth. And Luke Jackson has missed nine straight free throws in two games. Grabner with the turnaround jumper. No good. Powell with the rebound. Lost it. Thomas. Three-pointer. They are hot from outside. Mike Grabner. Grabner gets the basket for Northern. And Jackson lost the ball. He was all alone. 7-11 to play in the ball game. Northern better make a run soon, or Stan Albeck's team will have a very happy drive home. Well, they've done a much better job of getting the ball to their inside guys the last few times down the floor. Grabner in trouble, so he oh. dishes it off to Norman, who throws up an air ball. 
And, and the Braves will have it back. <laughs> the Bradley fans are more than willing to give a few cat calls here. I am told that Luke Jackson is now hitting 6% from the free throw line this year. I think he can get a better interest rate. The, he, he's really struggling, and they work on him, work with him on that every day at practice. Everybody has to make 50 free throws before they leave, but that hasn't helped Luke. Manuel, long pass to Hawkins, but he walked. He led him a bit too far, and Hersey had nowhere to go. JoJo Jackson back in. Remember, he has four fouls. Hawkins with 37 points tonight will now play defense. Well, the last couple of times on the break, the guys running down the floor, Luke and Hersey that time have kind of outrun the break. They're so far down the floor, they can't really get a good pass to them. Matt Hardy, number 33, with the rebound. But Anthony Manuel with the hustle and the Braves with the ball. Here's Manuel, the Trimpy, the three-pointer. Harum's off the rim. Donnell Thomas eyes the jumper, doesn't take it. To Hardy with the hook, short. Trimpy rebounds. Manuel runs, looks for some help. Hawkins. I think he fooled Luke. He's got a foul. And it's on Hersey. Well, we had talked a little bit in, earlier in the game about how Hersey was getting that call. I think maybe this, yeah, he was, oh, well, he, <laughs> he was like a statue. He had been there so long. Except for the pigeons, he did look like one. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. A 12-point lead for the Braves with 5.25 to play. They will wrap up their third victory of the year. A mirror image of last year's start of 0-3. Stolen by Trimpy. Bounces to Anthony. Back to Trevor. Lays it up and he's fouled. JoJo Jackson got him on the wrist. And his will be slapped for it. And he's out of the game with five fouls. A clinic on the fast break that time. You go to practice and you watch Bradley practice and that's about all they do for the first hour is run up and down the floor, making passes back and forth. They worked it well that time and would have had an easy two were it not for the foul. So Trevor Trimpey, who is two for three at the free throw line and rarely visits the charity stripe, as I mentioned earlier in comparison with Hawkins, who's been there over 30 times this year, actually over 40 times this year, Trevor Trimpey has only been up there 40 times in his career. Well, he shoots so much from the outside and really doesn't bang in there on the offensive boards a lot, so he won't get a lot of calls. He gets both free throws, though, and the Braves up by 14. Nobody on defense wants to stand way out there with him. It's too lonely. Culbertson misses the layup, but we get a whistle against the Braves. Fourth personal foul on Luke. That's the fourth on Luke Jackson. One thing Luke has done a very good job of this year is staying out of foul trouble. But he'll come out of the game in favor of Greg Jones, who also has four fouls. This is one of those games, a learning experience for that young man. Grabner and Culbertson really good on the inside. Luke Jackson will be teaching guys lessons in a year or so like that. Culbertson with eight points today. Donnell Thomas has 15. And Rodney Davis, the leading scorer for Northern, with 17. Just to give you a look at how the Huskies are doing. Culbertson hits the second. It's 77 to 64. Manuel had it poked away. Thomas runs into Trimpey. Let's see who they call this again. Trevor. Because Thomas turned around to get the ball and Trevor was there and it looked like Thomas ran into oh, Trevor and nobody had possession of the ball. And I use in the bonus. Well, really, you'd think when both of them are going for the ball like that, that's kind of one of those things where there usually is no call. And, and it's too quick to flip a coin. <laughs> 
So Randy Norman in the one and one. Hey, these referees are well paid. They don't have any coins. They just got those big dollar bills in their pockets. He's in double digits with 10, and Mike Rabner's back in the ball game for John Culbertson. Grabner has 10 points as he enters the game. Norman passes him up with his 11th. Little pressure from Northern Illinois. They're still not giving up on this when they're only down 11. Bertolini in the ball game to get some firepower in there. He was in there toward the end of the first half. Powell lays it up and in. Mm. That's good by Powell. Grabner answers at the other end. Donald just fell down on that one. He's fallen down several times today. Here's Trimpey, guarded by Andrew Wells, number 23. First time he's been in the ball game. He redshirted last year. Powell blocked by Grabner. That's the second time that Grabner has rejected Donald Powell. Returning for Bradley Hawkins. Percy Hawkins back in the game, so Len Bertolini with a cup of coffee and now a seat on the bench. Powell with the hook, rolls in and out. Under four minutes to play. An 11-point Bradley lead. This is a big possession for Northern. Sure is, they're not out of this ball game yet. They're only down 11. They got plenty of time to come back. We might see him shoot some threes. Rodney Davis is out of the game. He normally takes them for Northern Illinois. He's their designated three-point shooter. The ball goes out of bounds and belongs to the Huskies. Last year when we talked to Jim Rosborough, he said he hated the three-point shot. Now he's kind of worked it into their scheme of things. Of course, that man loves a three-point shot right there. Was he calling for one there? We'll see. He's got Rodney Davis back in the ball game. Drives and is fouled, and Greg Jones will take a seat. He's out of this one. Five fouls on number 32. So he leaves uh, with six points. Greg struggled a little bit. He doesn't score a lot of points, but he does some good things for you. He hits the boards well. And Luke Jackson will not come in. Paul Wilson will. Luke Jackson with four fouls, so perhaps Stan Paul is saving him. Rodney Davis at the free throw line. He's an 80% free throw shooter and is coming off a 19 point performance against Wisconsin Green Bay. The folks at Northern Illinois make a big deal about this Rodney not getting a lot of respect. Rossboro says he uh, might be the best kept secret in the Midwest. He also says he coasts at times and he's not really playing up to his full potential just yet. Well, he's cut the Bradley lead to nine, and there's plenty of time left. 3.28 to go. The day you drive out with a new car, you start driving down the value month after month. With most auto insurance, total a car two years later, and you just get the used car value. But with Country Company's Keeper Policy, if your car is wrecked beyond repair, you get a brand new car. Same make and model, even if it costs more than you paid at first. So get the country behind you. You've got the Country Company. Toyota Quality. It's a tradition that keeps growing stronger year after year. Number one in its class for customer satisfaction, the Toyota Tercel. The most trouble-free car sold in America, the Toyota Cressida. The best-selling 4x4 compact truck, Toyota. The number one compact truck sold in towing capacity and payload, Toyota. And they're all sold at a first-class dealership, Peoria Toyota Volvo. Who could ask for anything more? A Crystal Christmas, Tuesday at 9 on WEEK. <laughs> Well, we're still waiting to see how the Bears will do tomorrow night against the 49ers. Next week, we'll have the Bear Truth from Willie Galt. Sunday at 11 o'clock, the special holiday tribute to the Bears who take on Seattle on WEEK right after the special. That's next Sunday, a super Sunday for Bear fans, a week from today. And there's Northern Illinois' cheerleader.
he's got the whole building going here. He stood up during the timeout and said, we don't have any cheerleaders here, so we've got to do it ourselves. Well, they're much more excited about her th <laughs> than they are the game. Those are the three guys that aren't going to take their finals. <laughs> By the way, Hersey Hawkins has set a new Metro Center arena record of 37 points. The old one was 34, held by Alfred Refuse. The Braves by nine, and Northern with some backcourt pressure. Wilson throws it away. Here's Donnell Thomas. He can cut it to seven. Tipped up. No good. Andrew Wells with the rebound. It's a seven-point ball game. More pressure. Hawkins throws it right our way. Wilson comes down with it. So the Braves break the pressure that time, 79 to 72. And three minutes left, and Stan Albeck has gotten out of his seat. Things getting serious here at the Metro Center. The Braves and Cakewalks, their first two games, having a tough go here. Andrew Wells, a freshman from Von Steuben in Chicago with the rebound. Let's see what Northern does this time. They'd probably like to get it inside to Grabner or let him shoot. Davis doesn't stand. It's a five-point ball game. Manuel bullets one to Wilson, and he's fouled by Mike Grabner, and Wilson will visit the charity strike. That's what happened. That had to happen for Bradley that time. Anthony had to get the ball. That's who they want bringing the ball up the floor. Paul got a little bit tied up that last time. Third personal. Northern Illinois has learned that they can play basketball Wilson at the free throw line. in fourth gear. Well, they've played uh, their three losses are to some pretty decent teams. Don Haskins always has a good team at UTEP, Texas El Paso. They lost to Wisconsin Green Bay, who beat ISU not too long ago. The Braves steal it, but Trevor Trimpey throws it away. It's an 80 to 74 ball game. We're going to find about uh, find out a lot about the Bradley Braves and see just where they are. This is the first time they've had a ball game in the last couple of minutes where they really had a close game and had to play well. It's the first time this year that they've gone down to the last couple of minutes. Let's see if they protect that lead. Davis fakes the shot out to Norman. Davis wide open, side steps a man and hits. The Bradley lead is four. Manuel was fouled as he tried to race past the pressure and the double team, and Randy Norman will be charged with the violation. That's his first, so he has four left in his back pocket that he can use here down the stretch. We've got two minutes left to play. Rodney Davis on the offensive end for Northern Illinois that time has had trouble handling the defensive pressure, especially against Wisconsin Green Bay, one of their losses, but he did a good job that time. He's got him right in it here. Anthony is one out of two at the free throw line today. But he misses this big one. Rodney Davis on the dribble against Manuel. Long cross-court pass to Norman for the pop. Trevor Trimpey on the rebound. Oh. Manuel on the floor. Ball out of bounds. It belongs to Bradley, or at least to Northern Illinois, I'm sorry. Just couldn't hang on to that one. Northern Illinois is taking advantage of Bradley's helping man-to-man -man defense. They found their man wide open down in the corner that time. Hawk was helping out. They're going to try and move the ball, whip it around the top of the key there and get a man open by himself. A minute and a half to play. Bradley by four. Northern can cut that lead in half. Thomas is wide open. Rattles in and out. Trimpey with another rebound. And they get the ball to Anthony Manuel. Northern doesn't put the pressure on this time. They'll do their work on defense in the backcourt. Almost kicked the pocket of Manuel. Approaching a minute to play. Plenty of time on the shot clock. A bounce to Hawkins. He's still stuck on 37 points. Powell, in he goes, blocked by Grabner. Rodney Davis on the run with Manuel. The race to the basket, the pass, the layup no good. And the rebound to Trevor Trimpey, who's fouled by Rodney Davis. And a great job that time by Paul Wilson to break up a sure layup. Thought for sure they were going to get that one down. 
Ted Paul comes up with a big defensive play. He doesn't get a lot of credit for playing good defense, but he comes up with an outstanding play there. Here you'll see it. Watch him get up. Just got a piece of it. Kept the ball alive again. And now Trevor goes to the line. And I don't think you'll argue with me who our uh, Bradley North Point video player of the game is, of course, as always. Percy Hawkins with 37 points. After three games and three players of the game, North Point Video may consider a commission for that young man. <laughs> well, you know, we might as well rename the thing. Of course, he goes into the number three spot on Bradley's all-time list today. He passes a grade in Bradley history, Chet Walker. And he goes over 2,000 points, but Trevor Trimpey hitting the big free throws. 82-76, five-point lead, making a six-point lead with 45 seconds to go. Look at Anthony Manuel, he's snarling. Norman kicks out. Hawk with the steal. And he is fouled on the play. Rodney Davis has fouled out of the ball game now. Northern Illinois needed the ball back, though, and a six-point ball game to have a chance. Now they have to hope that Hawkins misses the free throws. And that's not likely to happen. 23 points for Rodney Davis. That's his second best output of the year. He had 24 points in a loss to the Wisconsin Badgers in Northern's second game of the season. We have Davis for five fouls, but I'm not sure the official scorer does. Yeah, he does. The official says, hey, you've got five fouls, and you can't be out here no. talking to these fellas. So Donald Whiteside checks in, and I think Brett Andricks is going to come in, too, because he's a good defensive player, and they need the ball back. And he's probably a pretty good three-point shooter. And without Davis in there, their best three-point shooter is on the bench. Hawkins with 37 points. 38 points. And he is 14 of 14 from the free throw line. There's Donnell Thomas, who takes a seat in favor of number 14, Brett Andricks. Hawkins, 15 free throws today, and he's perfect on all of them. Down to our last 30. Andricks has to shoot in a hurry, blocked by Wilson, gets the ball back. Whiteside moves past a flying Hawkins and hits the jumper, and Northern wants a timeout with 22 seconds to play. 84 to 78, it's not over yet. Corn growers around here know counter gives you more. More rootworm control, more root mass, more corn. And Counter in furrow gives you more protection where it's needed most. Counter consistently outperforms every other rootworm insecticide. And you can't afford a performance gap. So get more of what you use an insecticide for. Get Counter at your local AgriCenter dealer. Like a good old pair of blue jeans. Like a signpost up ahead. Like a James Dean flick and a fender lick And a look that stops you in bed I'm an American original The first rap beer in a can Have a nice cold coolers with a friend of yours Brewery Fresh Draft Beer in Bottles and Cans. That's been Coors for over 25 years. Taste the original today. Put a 12-ounce keg in your hand. We talked about the Rockford Metro Center at the beginning of the ball game and that the Braves had to play well on the road. And we also told you that Northern Illinois only plays one game here all season. And they were 0-4 in this building last year. So it seems that this is a road game for the Huskies, too. And they have just as many problems winning on the road as the visitors do. 22 seconds left in this one. And Northern Illinois trailing Bradley. 84-78. to The Braves trying to open up with a 3-0 start before they head to Memphis State on Thursday. And our next Bradley telecast will be from Loyola on January the 2nd, a 3.30 broadcast. You should be over your New Year's celebrating by then. We get a whistle and a foul before Trevor can inbound. It's on number 10, Donald Whiteside. 
and that will send Trevor back to the free throw line, which he has visited rather frequently for him. Almost as much today as he had all last season. This will be his fifth Second free throw first. attempt. Well, they're going to they're going to put Manuel at the line instead, so I stand corrected. Oh, uh, yeah. Anthony was in that double team down there. This tells us a lot about this Bradley Brave team. They were challenged in the final two minutes, and they stood up to it. We saw some pretty good defensive pressure. Anthony Manuel <laughs> with the fake, and the they turned the ball over. I've never seen that before. I, I did see it. I'm sorry. I saw the Globetrotters do it, and the ball was connected to a rubber band. It kind of looked like uh, back in when the NFL was allowing Stickham. Couldn't get the ball out of his hand. All right, let's see if that is important. We've got 18 seconds to play in the game, and let's pick up the action here as the ball moves into the front court, and Norman rolls it in and out. Ten seconds to go. Out of bounds belongs to Northern. Nine seconds left, a six-point Bradley lead. I am shocked that they haven't attempted a three-point shot since that 30-second mark. Well, they were burned in a couple of games, especially last year against Drake they lost because of Drake's ability to shoot the three. I thought I'd see it today. Well, we saw a three-point attempt there by Norman. The ball goes out of bounds with four seconds. So the Braves will win this one and start off the season at 3-0. and oh. Here's the three by Norman. It's long. All Wilson has to do is hold the ball. And Bradley is 3-0 after victories over New Orleans, Colorado, and Northern Illinois. 84-78, our final here at Rockford. And we'll be back to wrap it up in just a minute. Thanks for the white Christmas, dear. 